So that's one of the scars from surgery. I got another one on the back there. Is that the guy? No, he's, he's somewhere in there. Maybe right there. Yeah, I think right there. Anyway, those scars, those scars are kind of cool. They're kind of like battle scars. Give me something to tell a story about. But uh, also what was kind of cool is after I got shoulder surgery, uh, a week after surgery, I went to see the orthopedic surgeon and, you know, just inspecting everything, making sure I was doing all right and whatever. And he actually showed me pictures of what he found inside my shoulder and how he corrected it because, you know, they go in orthoscopically with these tiny instruments with cameras on the end. So he was able to take some pictures. That was pretty cool. I wish I saved those pictures, but I'm sure I could ask for the pictures next time I see him. But uh, slowly regaining function of the arm. I can't really lift up any weight or do much with it other than move my elbow up and down, which this is kind of like a major step forward, which, uh, you know, we're, we're working on kind of stretching out my arm and, and regaining mobility before we start, you know, re-strengthening the arm and muscle. So in intense physical therapy right now, but slowly getting there, hoping to be back up and uh, kicking in quarter one of 2022, because uh, that's, that's the only choice I have. I got to get up and get moving. But Anyway, uh, that's not the topic of today's video. Today's video, I want to talk about uh, why I changed my channel name yet again and why I think this is going to be the last time that I've ch I'm going to have to change my channel name. But let's go back to where it all started. Originally, when I started this channel, uh, the original channel name was Rose Hill Farm, which at the time, you know, I was growing up, middle school, high school, uh, living with my stepfather and my mother, and we lived on this nice, uh, I'd call it a hobby farm. You know, we had chickens, goats, uh, stepfather was in construction, so you know, he had a little welding shop and all that, and it was just an awesome place to grow up. But nothing lasts forever, their relationship kind of fell apart. Uh, my mother decided to move to the house next door of the original Rose Hill Farm property because they had a kid together, uh, my, my younger sister, and they just wanted to try and ease the divorce process, which was good and bad being next to one another, but. Uh, as soon as things fell apart between the two of those, I moved in with my mother and the Rose Hill Farm dream, that, that was dead. And you know, a, a channel, a channel's name really defines the creator, what they're about, what they do. And because I was no longer at Rose Hill Farm and that was no longer a part of my life, it really didn't make sense to keep it uh, as a channel name, which is heartbreaking. Uh, in fact, the Rose Hill Farm property recently got sold and uh, house got demolished, which I recently did a, a farewell video just kind of giving you guys a tour of the property, which if you go back through a couple videos, you can see that. But anyway, I moved in with my mother and at the time I was really growing my snow plowing business. So I kind of decided to change the channel name to Snow Plow Life, which made sense because I was mainly making videos about snow plowing, snow plow techniques, uh, how I charge for snow plowing snowplow maintenance, you know, it was kind of like what the channel focused on and that I, I think that's actually where I gained a lot of subscribers, but uh, ultimately the F-150 kind of gave out and uh, you know, I picked up a job working for a municipality and it was really impractical for me to be plowing with the mun municipality for 30 hours and then go and trying to knock out 10, 15 clients. It was just too much to handle. Uh, so a combination of those two things ultimately led to the demise of that channel name and uh, I eventually got out of snow plowing and I decided to move the channel name to snow, or uh, no, not snow plow life, to Hunter's Garage, which that kind of made sense because I was doing a lot of projects in the garage and I don't know, it, it just seemed to fit at the time, but for whatever reason, I think I grew out of love with that name, probably because I wasn't just doing projects in the garage. I was, you know, doing home repair projects all around the house. So that stuck for a little while, but then I bought the truck. And this was such like a huge accomplishment in my life and something I was really proud of. And I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna make my channel name 67 Diesel. You know, Whistle and Diesel channel was, was pretty buzzing at the time. His channel's still pretty buzzing, but I, I think it's it's gone downhill a little bit. But you know, the diesel name was definitely hot and it, it was just something that I was really proud of. It, 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 it's not really about my ego, it's, it's more of a pride thing. You know, just working so hard for so much of my life to finally get to the point where I could, I could buy a truck that I've, I've wanted since, you know, my early days in high school and here it is and like, you know, 
it sounded good at the time, but uh, kind of what happened over time is I realized that it, it doesn't really define me. It's, it's just an object, you know. I'm not making videos just about the truck. I'm making projects, or well, I'm making videos about my life, the house, about the truck, just a little bit of everything. So 6.7 diesel, it, it has a nice ring to it, but it just didn't really define me. So, you know, over the past month, I've just been thinking really hard, like, what defines me as a creator? What defines me as a person? What's a channel name that I could come up with that's kind of short, sweet, has a nice ring to it, but yet again, defines, defines who I am and, and the type of content I produce? And I came to the name Old Soul Millennial. And honestly, I think that's perfect name because... I'm a millennial, I was bo born in the millennial time frame, time range, whatever, and uh, truly at heart, I'm an old soul. So it kind of defines me, it defines my personality, and, and there's so much that I could build off of that. So I'm really liking the new channel name. Sorry to put you guys through so many channel names, but uh, you know, picking the right channel name is really important for a content creator because you know your whole channel is built off your name, so it's kind of like every time I, I change the channel name, it's kind of like I'm starting from the bottom a little bit, but there's a lot of loyal subscribers, a lot of you that are watching this video right now that have been with me through you know, thick and thin, so I appreciate you guys sticking around, and uh, I think the channel's definitely going in a, a, a good positive direction right now, and it's really going to give me a good base to build off of. Hopefully late in the first quarter of 2022, I'll be back up kicking. Uh, got a lot of projects that I want to get back to around the house. And uh, yeah, we'll just move on with life. One thing I will say though, uh, after being injured, I'm, I'm going to do a video about this, but just being physically injured really has changed my mindset as to how I take care of my body, how I should take care of my body. Like since I've gotten injured, like I've, I've restructured my diet. I'm eating a lot healthier, a lot cleaner now. And also, because I can't do anything with my upper body, I've just been focusing on strength training my lower body. Like I have some knee issues I'm going with right now, uh, which in the past, you know, I, I, I was young, I was kicking hard, but you know, as I grow older, I, I, I just find it so much more critical to take care of my body. So doing these stretches and strength training for my lower body is definitely helping a lot with my knee issues. Um, going back to see the, uh, the doctor about my knee and see what he says about that. I got the MRI, the MRI looked okay. Uh, I think it's, it's likely some type of patella femoral issue, hamstring too tight, putting too much pressure on my patella, on uh, my knee joint there. That's what I think it is. We'll see what he says ultimately, but yeah, uh, take care of yourselves, take care of your body, um, eat healthy, exercise, uh, you really should get a gym membership or at the very least just do some strength training exercises at your house, especially if you're in like a labor intensive job like I am. So that's about all I have for today's spiel. Thanks for watching. Uh, let me know what you guys think of the new channel name. I do have to come up with a new logo. Uh, just kind of put in a quick, simple logo, black tree. Uh, I, I would like to do something with the logo in the future, but you know, that requires capital because you got to you got to find the right people to do that. So, you know, I'm just penny pinching right now trying to get through these hard times. So that's definitely something we got to work on in the future. Anyway, thanks for watching.